Hello everyone, if you've been watching my YouTube channel for a while, you know that I show not only how to use DaVinci Resolve, but I also show you different plugins that can help you improve your color grading. And today, I would like to show you a very cool AI plugin called Color Match that has been developed by the company called retouch for me This plugin helps to extract colors from any image and apply them to your videos. You can use it for the look development, to stylize your videos, and to give your videos a similar look and vibe to any reference image. And also, if you like the plugin, now you can get 20% of it using my affiliate link below this video. Let's start! And I am in the color tab, and I have a few clips on my timeline. We will start from this one, and it's also worth to mention that the Color Match plugin can work with both Rec709 and Log files. So once you have purchased the plugin, you can just simply download it and install it on your computer, and then it should automatically appear in your effects tab. And this clip is in Log, as you can see. So let's find a hero frame to work on. I have also put the adjustment node before to be able to make some additional corrections to my clip after using the color match and I will simply grab the plugin from the effects tab and I will drop it onto my second node. We do have a simple set of controls over here and the first thing we need to do is to pick a reference image we want to match our clip with. So let's select choose reference image and here in my stills folder I do have a few stills from the movies I like. I've simply downloaded them from the internet and for this clip let's maybe pick a still from Henry Sugar. So let's just hit open and look at this. The result is pretty amazing. I do really have a lot of fun working with this plugin and what I also like is that here we can preview our ungraded still and the reference clip and we can move it around and what we can basically see is that the Color Match plugin has completely transformed our log clip, matching the colors, the contrast and the luminance with the reference still. But let me walk you through these controls over here. So first we can change the temperature and the tint, if we want to improve it, like this. Then we have Color Match Blend. then smoothing, then luminance, and match color control that allows modify our effect further. And what I also like to do after I use my plugin, I like to adjust it further on the additional note. So let's go to the adjustment note and let's maybe increase the contrast a little bit. And let's tweak the pivot. Okay, so now my clip looks nice and sharp. And let's maybe try another reference still. So I will go back to my reference stills. And I will pick this still from Oppenheimer. We have here quite nice and muted color palette. So let's hit open. And look at this. We have completely changed the style of the grade. But what would I do here? I would go to the gain and I would decrease it to make my clip look more dense, like this, and maybe lift as well. Okay, so here in a few simple clicks we are able to create two totally different looks. Now let's move to the second clip, as here I would like to stress that the color match will work best when our clip more or less matches the contrast and the luminance levels of our reference still. So this clip is quite dark, and if I have picked a bright image, like this one for example, the result is not that nice. As colorists, we can do a lot of magic, but if we are dealing with two totally different setups and so on, it may not be possible to match the clips. So let me pick something darker. like this one, and it looks way better. But here I would also improve the lighting a bit, so I'll go back to the adjustments, and I'll increase gain a touch, then maybe lift, then I would increase the contrast. 
basically I do really like to experiment with this plugin. It is a very good learning process and it shows how much we can transform our moving images. But let's try another clip. And here I will apply the grade from another still from Oppenheimer. This time the result looks really great and subtle. But there's one more great thing about the Color Match plugin, as it allows not only to match grades from reference clips, but it also gives an access to a broad LUTs library. So let's reset the Color Match over here. And then let's move to the LUT manager. And as you can see, here we already have a few different categories of LUTs and we can also purchase more LUTs in the LUT store. But let's open the grading edition folder. And here we have all of these LUTs to choose from. Then maybe let's try the top 25 and let's pick something. This is a bit too much for my clip, but we can preview all of the other LUTs using the previous or the next buttons like this. So we can find something suitable. This is quite nice. It gives a nice pastel teal and orange look. This is before and after. And then here we can also use the LUT blend slider to blend our LUT with the original clip and to make it look even more subtle. So to summarize, the Retouch For Me Color Match plugin is designed to speed up your color grading and to improve your workflow. And in my opinion, the plugin can be really suitable for someone who's got a huge workload. And also, as I have mentioned, it is not only a color match plugin, it is also a LUT library. So if you like to try different LUTs, it might be something for you. And if you like the plugin, don't forget that you can get a 20% discount using my affiliate link below this video.